This is the unknown trail, as I call it. There's no markings for this trail, but it's definitely a trail. It's not too well traveled, but it does get traveled. Look how beautiful this starts right here. It's just to the side of the trail. Look at all these beautiful wildflowers in the middle of July. And this is just at the start. The road comes up here. It's, it's off by the Blue Lakes Trailhead Road, but it's not that road. You have to know the right one to turn off on. I found it by exploring one day, a couple years ago. Here you can see Mount Sneffels in the background. This is National Forest Land, so you can see some people have had little campfires here. They've camped out here. Here's the start. It used to be a road that used to go all the way up here. They've stopped it and blocked it and marked it. But it's just for hiking and horses and bikes. But today, it looks like it's just going to be for us. We're starting off at almost 9,400 feet. It's a pretty good elevation. But if you've been in southwest Colorado, you know it gets a whole lot higher than that. All right, so time to get hiking, and we're going to get up to this really cool meadow area that's going to give us some unique views of Mount Sneffels that you might not normally see. After a short bit, the trail thins down quite a bit since I was last here. It's just a one-way path here now. This whole hillside is just covered with wildflowers. We have reached the meadow area. This is almost a mile up the trail, just shy of it. We're just a hair over 9,600 feet. And just looking to my right, I see a hillside full of wildflowers. You might not be able to pick them up from here, but I can see them. Let's continue on the trail a little, little bit. Just incredible. This is also a great place for fall colors. Whoa. Look at those wildflowers ahead of us. They're all around us. Such a cool meadow. As I was saying, this is a great place for fall colors also. There's a couple stands of aspen there. You can see, look at the wildflowers as we look back. There's aspen there. You'll be able to see sniffles once we back up a little bit. And these aspen can frame it. Just an incredible display here. I'm glad I decided to come up here and see what the wildflowers looked up here because they look incredible. I will mention the trail goes up and splits and it goes off that direction and actually if you can stand out long enough it'll connect up to County Road 9. So a lot of trail maps don't show that but I've gone up here and hiked it. I know it does, and it's a fun little hike back up through there. Just look at all these wildflowers. 
they're growing so wild it's kind of making me wild Not too wild but a little wild look at these Being very careful to step in between the wildflowers. They look pretty thick here, but there's a lot of dirt in between them. To safely walk and not squish any of them. Looking back the way we came, Mount Sneffels is now in view. You can see it back there. Look at how incredible this looks. This is looking at the trail back towards the way we came. Still plenty of wildflowers you can frame it with. Just a beautiful sight of Mount Sneffels. Here on the back side of that meadow far side the wildflowers just don't stop they are everywhere look at this and the view opens up for Mount Sneffels back here more wildflowers lots of bees but the bees have been busy with the flowers and not with me, so that's been great. So if you enjoyed this video, because we're going to have to wrap this up, please subscribe and share. Please ask your friends to subscribe. And come on back for more. This is back over in the Blue Lake area. I won't say exactly where. You can find it if you look. It's not that hidden, but it's hidden enough that there's nobody back here but me.